Welcome back to the channel and today I'm going to be addressing a subject that I get asked about a lot so I decided to do a video on it and that is how do you utilize the vertex groups in geometry nodes. So in this case what we're going to be doing is setting up this example where we can paint on our um, vertex groups and we can have these instances in this case it's going to be a cube as an example we can paint it onto a mesh surface. So um, utilizing vertex groups is something that is possible in geometry nodes and I'll show you step by step how to do it. And it's kind of really fun because it gives you a little bit more control. Whereas in, when you're doing it completely procedurally, um, um, it's, you know, it's doable, but sometimes there are going to be instances where you really just want to paint on your instances. So um, let's jump in and I hope you guys enjoy learning how to use vertex groups in geometry nodes. Okay, so let's jump into Blender. We're gonna just select everything and press delete. And I think a really good object to test with, even though you can use any mesh object, is gonna be a plane. So we're gonna go Shift A. We're just gonna go to our mesh options. Let's just quickly add in um, a plane. Where is it? Here we go. There it is. And with our plane here selected, let's just quickly go into edit mode. And with everything active, just right click and go subdivide. And let's just go to subdivide here. And let's just give it something like 50 cuts here. So we have a nice object to paint on because remember when we're working with um, vertex groups, we need the vertex vertices to work with. So um, let's go back into object mode and let's go into our geometry nodes set up here. Now we have our plane selected. We're going to go new to create a geometry node system. Let's just call this geo node system um, vertex example. And what we're going to do it's important that our group input here is the thing that's coming in because we could add in an object, you know, like a cube, for example, but then we don't have, we won't have any way of having this um, vertex group data. So make sure it is whatever input object you're working with. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go shift a, we're going to go search and we're going to go instances and we're going to go instances on points. And we're going to place it over here. Make sure not to get it mixed up with the instances two points. People often do. So it's instances on points. And now we're going to grab an instance. We're going to come here and just click and drag on this instance. And we're going to type in cube. And we're just going to get the mesh cube. And at the moment, it's way too big. So let's just take the size here. and just click and drag on it and let go. And we're going to type in value and just get a value node. And that way, we can just take this value. And we don't have to individually come here and adjust all of these different sizes. So just... Um, let's just bring it down. I'm going to bring it down to something like this. And um, maybe let's just quickly go shift a search and just get a transform. And you get a transform geometry. Just place it here between a cube and instance. And just to make it look a little bit better, we can just take the scale here on the Z and bring it up. And let's just also bring it up on the Z location here. Done the transform. And if you want to see the original object with these instances, all you have to do here is just go shift a search and get a join a join and go for join geometry and place it over here and have the input go here. And now you can see your original plane and instances. So now we have a nice little um, setup here where we can, we can try this out. Okay. So the idea here is to vert, do some vertex painting with a vertex group and then have it only put these um, little cubes that we stretched out where we're painting. So how do we do that? Okay. So we need to actually come here to our instances on points. And we need to take a group input here and we need to take the selection and drag it into one of these sockets here. So now we have a selection and then we want to press N to bring up our properties and over here under our groups, under our interface, we can take the selection and we can just call it vertex groups and go enter. So now we know what it is and let's create a vertex group. So make sure you click here on your object data properties, which is this little green triangle. And let's create a vertex group and let's just call this instances since we're going to be um, painting on our instances. Okay, you can call it whatever you want. And then we're going to go over to our modifiers where our geometry node is. And we're going to click on this thing here. And now we can select a vertex group here. So we're going to just click here and we're going to go to this one called point instances because that's what we named it. And you're not going to see anything because we haven't actually painted anything in. So there are two ways you can do this. You can go over to your object data properties and you can go into edit mode and you can just select some verts and that way you can just go ahead and you can assign them and now you can see we have some vertex weights or a more fun way is just to go over here directly into white paint and with that instance is selected you can just come in here now and paint wherever you want to see your selection if you want to you can also come here and subtract and then paint them away 
you can change the size of the brush. Um, it's really fun. So that is how you can work with um, vertex groups in Geometry Nodes. I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time for another tutorial.